If you are a fan of democracy, if you have a problem with state theocracy, if you're having issues with minority rule, or with the propaganda they teach your kids in school, you don't like invading armies, bent on thievery, if you think it's wrong to steal someone else's country, there's just one explanation, though it may be getting trite. You must be an anti-Semite. You must be an anti-Semite. If you don't like the idea of shooting mortar rounds at kids, it must be because you just don't like the Yids. Israel bombs hospitals if you heard that on the news. It must be because that network doesn't like the Jews. All those UN agencies crying genocide secretly still blame us for the way that Jesus died. There's just one explanation we keep within our sights. You must be an anti-Semite. You must be an anti-Semite. If you think free speech is a really good thing If you fear the future that censorship may bring If you think Mark Zuckerberg is a pawn of the CIA If you don't believe whatever the Western leaders say If you march and chant from the river to the sea If you say you'll keep fighting until Palestine is free There's just one explanation right there in black and white you must be an anti-Semite. You must be an anti-Semite. If you're not a fan of home demolitions, if you've got some kind of problem with the Zionist position, it can't be that you care about humanity. It can't be just that you want some sanity. If you don't like the slaughter, you'd better just stand by. Don't speak out or else we'll all know the reason why. There's just one explanation, the one from the far right. You must be an anti-Semite. You must be an anti-Semite.